Imagine, a 140-meter warship suddenly appears off North Korea's coast. This is no ordinary vessel. Here's the breakdown. Size, weapons, radar, weaknesses, and why every neighboring country is watching closely. Satellite images reveal a warship roughly 140 meters long, nearly double the size of typical North Korean naval vessels. Right now, it's in the fitting out stage, meaning systems and interiors are being installed. Imagery hints at a possible vertical launch system, giving it the ability to carry anti-ship, surface-to-air, and even land attack missiles. That's a major leap in capability for Pyongyang. There are signs of phased array radar and a helicopter deck, two upgrades that mean longer detection ranges and far more flexible air operations. Some analysts note design similarities to Russian technology. Not solid proof, but enough to raise questions about possible tech transfers or design adaptation. That alone has regional militaries on edge. Here's the reality. Building a massive warship in a country with limited shipbuilding infrastructure brings challenges, from engines and logistics to integrating weapons and training crews. Some experts doubt it's ready for high-intensity combat. If it becomes fully operational, it could shift the balance in the Yellow Sea and Sea of Japan, extending strike range, bolstering deterrence, and serving as a tool of hardline diplomacy. Want a deep dive into the frigate's VLS systems or that phased array radar? Hit subscribe, like, and drop VLS in the comments. I'll cover it next. Share this with anyone into military tech.